Welcome to the FileAid MVS Online Comparing Data Files module. Here you will be taken through several scenarios based on a business case need to compare two data files. As we proceed through the various scenarios, understand that every detail and option of every screen will not be covered. When more detail is needed, several options are available. First of all, the FileAid MVS User's Guide and Online Reference Manual are available for download on Frontline. Next, on the FileAid Primary Option menu, access to the tutorial is provided. Finally, on any screen within FileAid, Pressing F1 will take you to the corresponding area within the tutorial. In this example, we are on the Compare Criteria Options screen. Pressing F1 for Help displays the Compare Criteria Options tutorial screen. Before we look at the scenarios, a brief discussion of terminology will be beneficial. To begin, the tables to be compared are referenced as the old and new tables. Matching is the process of syncing rows by key value. When two rows are matched, the comparing, meaning examining same row, same column values, may be done. Inserted rows are those with key values found on the new but not on the old table. Deleted rows are those with key values found on the old but not on the new table. A formatted compare is done by field name and uses a COBOL or PL1 record layout. An unformatted compare requires knowledge of data mapping and the data is compared by position in the record and field length. Here we see a list of the data compare cases that will be the focus of the scenarios that follow. We will begin with a formatted compare where both files are keyed. In scenario 1, HR would like a summary of specific employee status changes that occurred during the previous year. The information is available by comparing old and new files. The specific fields to compare for changes are last name, job title, and marital status. Also, the life insurance withholding amount field is to be examined for changes that are more or less than 10% of the old value. The old and new files are both VSAM keyed and COBOL record layouts are available. Here we see a partial record layout for the files. Again, the fields to be compared are last name, job title, marital status, and life insurance withholding amount with a 10% tolerance. The old and new files are VSAM. From the File Aid Primary Option menu, we choose Option 10 for the Compare Utility. On the next screen, we choose Compare Mode F, Formatted, enter the old dataset name, and enter the record layout information. Here, the entire file will be compared, but remember that standard selection criteria may be applied if filtering is necessary. An example of this would be comparing records added to a file before or after a certain date. Next, we provide the comparable information for the new file. This compare will be run as a batch job. We will look at running online a bit later. Compare criteria may be saved and reused similar to selection criteria. Here we have none. 
we are also bypassing the option to apply any modifications using File Aid Data Solutions. The compare type will be S because the files are keyed. That also means that the read ahead parameters do not apply here. All records will be compared. A number can be used here for large files where only some of the records must be compared. All differences will be compared. A number here can be used to set a limit in case an incorrect file was used. We will go ahead and modify or at least review the various print defaults because there are so many ways to tailor your report. Since the same record layout is used for both the old and new files, it is beneficial to associate corresponding data names. Here we see the first of two print options screens. A formatted report will show field names from the record layout and we choose to print only the changed records. On the second print options screen, we make the additional choices. Although this scenario makes no mention of output files, we will create two for demonstration purposes. We have chosen file number one to contain copies of the deleted records and file number two to contain copies of the inserted records. The corresponding dataset names have been entered. Choosing new for the file dispositions will cause the display of file allocation screens. Since the old file is a vSAM cluster, the allocation screen for the file to contain copies of the deleted records is pre-filled with the appropriate vSAM parameters. We need only press Enter to allocate and continue. The same is true for the other new file. Arriving at the formatted criteria screen, we see that the vSAM key information has been used to identify the first field. The other fields are all initially defined as comparison fields. The line command column on the left is used to specify the line commands listed at the bottom of the screen. Recall that three of the fields currently visible should remain as comparison fields. The R line command has been entered to reset the other fields. We then scroll forward to view the remaining fields. The life insurance withholding amount field is also to be compared with a tolerance. The T line command has been entered and the other fields have been reset. The tolerance designation opens a window where the tolerance amount is specified. If we wanted a tolerance value, entering 10 would mean a tolerance of plus or minus $10. According to the spec, we do not want a value, we want a percent, so we must add the percent symbol for plus or minus 10%. To proceed, we use Enter to create the batch JCL. Here we enter JCL to edit the generated JCL. The syslist DD statement specifies the dataset to contain the compare report. Here you see the first page of the detail report. The requested changed records are labeled as such on the left. We see that the third record on the old file matched the third record on the new file based on key values. The job title here was changed from orator to guest speaker. On another record, the last name change accompanied a change in marital status. On the last record shown, 
the life insurance withholding amount was changed from 200 to 400, certainly exceeding the 10% tolerance. On the statistics report, we see counts and percentages for each field changed. Finally, on the summary report, we see all of the totals. If you would like to examine this report more thoroughly, it is available for download. Begin by clicking on the Attachments tab. Batch processing for this example was chosen near the beginning on the Execution Options screen shown here. If online processing had been chosen instead, all of the subsequent screens would be the same up to the Build Complete screen where the first option would be Enter to Execute. The report would display directly on the screen in a Browse session along with the Compare Complete message. Note that the report is contained in a temporary file. Upon ending this browse session, you would have the option to print the report. Choosing Yes displays the standard FileAid print parameters screen. Next, we will look at an unformatted compare where both files are keyed. This scenario is the same as the first with one major exception. No record layouts are available, so we must know the record positions of the comparison fields. We begin by choosing Compare from the FileAid Primary Option menu. First, we choose Unformatted for the Compare mode, then we enter the old dataset name and none for record layout usage. Then we enter the new dataset name. We choose batch processing and no compare criteria. The criteria options remain the same. On the first of the print options screens, the print format choices differ slightly. We choose Character Format. Although this is page 2 of 3, not modifying the report style bypasses the third page. This time, we choose to not write to any output files. We now see the unformatted criteria screen. Again, we see that the vSAM key information has been used to identify that the first five bytes of the record will be used as the sync key and, by default, the entire record should be compared. We change the position and length parameters for the first comparison field then add the others with the appropriate line commands. As before, we enter 10% for the tolerance parameter. Finally, the completed comparison specifications appear to the right. At this point, the compare is ready to run, just as in the first scenario. Here you see the unformatted detail report. Changed records are labeled the same as on the formatted report. Which record numbers are matched on key are also shown as before. We will zoom in on the changed last name field to see how the changes are indicated. Note how the positions are individually marked with dashes if changed. The second letter in last name Moraga remains the same in last name Johnson, so no dash appears in the second position of the field. 
Again, this full report is available for download. Begin by clicking on the Attachments tab. Next, we will look at a formatted compare where neither file is keyed, but both are sorted. This scenario is much like the first two. The tolerance comparison has been omitted and both files are sorted. We begin by choosing Compare from the primary option menu. We specify the old dataset information. We specify the new dataset information. We specify the execution options and we specify the criteria options. On the formatted criteria screen, note that all fields are initially designated as comparison fields as expected, but no sync or key fields are shown. It is up to the user to supply that information. Here, we reset those fields to exclude from the compare and specify the national ID number field as the sync field because the files are sorted in ascending order on this field. The order and direction parameters are specified in the window that appears. That designation is shown here and the compare parameters are now complete. The compare is ready to run. The report for this compare is very similar to the report from the first scenario and will not be shown here. Next, we will look at an unformatted compare where neither file is keyed and both are sorted. This scenario is basically the same as the last one, but no record layouts are available. We begin by choosing Compare from the Primary Option menu. We specify the mode and old dataset. Then we specify the new dataset. We specify the execution options. Then we specify the criteria options and we arrive at the unformatted criteria screen. The comparison and sync field designations are added. The sync field specifications are then added. All compare parameters are now complete. The compare is ready to run. The corresponding report is not shown here. Next, we will look at a formatted keyed compare where the old and new record layouts are different. This scenario is similar to the others, but the old and new files have different characteristics. The old file is a vSAM KSDS and the new file is sequential and sorted. The record lengths are different and the comparison fields are in different positions on their respective records. We begin by choosing Compare on the primary option menu. We specify the compare mode and old dataset information. We specify the new dataset information. We specify the execution options. Then we come to a new screen to associate field names. Note that the old file and new file fields have different names. Note also that because of the name differences, the mapping area is blank to be completed by the user. The old file field names must be mapped manually to the new file field names. 
the field name itself, preceded by a slash, is entered. For the employee number, which is the sync field, the S line command is also entered. Optionally, the field number may be used instead of the field name. The sort sync information is required for the new file. The compare parameters are now complete. Note that the field number was changed to the field name. The compare is ready to run. The report is not shown, but it is available for download. Next, we will look at an unformatted keyed compare where the old and new file records differ in format. This scenario is like the previous one, but no COBOL record layouts are available. We begin by choosing Compare on the primary option menu. We specify the Compare mode and old dataset information. We specify the new dataset information. We specify the execution options. We specify the criteria options. And we arrive at the unformatted criteria screen. Two designations are notable. First, the key field is positions 1 through 5 in both records. Second, the job title field begins in position 34 in the old record and position 43 in the new record. The sort sync information is required for the new file. The compare parameters are now complete. The compare is ready to run. The report is not shown, but it is available for download. This concludes this module. Thank you.